Hello and welcome to Behind the Stunts for 2014. Welcome to a brand new year and a brand new season. We'll start with good news. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to tell you that our old friend Rocky Taylor is fine and well and on good form when I spoke to him the other day. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Rocky was diagnosed with prostate cancer in October last year and has been undergoing radiotherapy for the last three months. The outcome is good, he's cancer-free, and more importantly, he's working again, which is great news. He's currently working on Avengers Age of Ultron, which is being filmed here in the United Kingdom and will be out next summer. More good news from the other side of the pond as our friends Rick Avery and Donna Keegan got married on January the 14th after they returned from Panama whilst working on Hands of Stone with Robert De Niro. Congratulations to you both from all of us over here. Our stunt reel feature for this particular week uh, is Dan Stevens. He's Chris Pine's double on Unstoppable, performing heart-stopping manoeuvres on the train. Uh, Zachary Quinto's double on Star Trek Into Darkness, Men in Black 3, Green Lantern and The Dark Knight Rises, to name but a few. Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds rely on Dan as their main double. And this is why... Our stunt classic for this particular week comes from the movie Executive Target from 1997. The story of a stunt driver, Michael Madsen, who is convicted of a crime and then tries to evade further complications whilst saving the girl and his reputation. Stunt coordinator is Pat Statham, who brings together a who's who of stunt drivers and players for numerous action sequences, most of them uh, involving uh, four wheels, like this one you're going to see right here.
Now, sad news. We lost Joffrey Brown very recently. Uh, the Taurus Lifetime Achievement Award was awarded to Joffrey in 2010. Uh, a legendary stuntman whose career has spanned over 30 years and includes stunts in over 400 films and television shows. Joffrey got into the stunt business after an injury ended his career as a major league pitcher for the Chicago Cubs. His natural athleticism helped him rise in the industry as one of the first African-American stuntmen in Hollywood. In addition to serving as stunt coordinator for legendary films such as Scarface and Action Jackson, he's performed memorable stunts like driving a bus over the gap in the freeway in the movie Speed, crashing cars in the television series The A-Team, his work navigating a big rig through a high-speed chase in Bad Boys 2 earned him a Taurus Award in 2004 for Best Work with a Vehicle. And in that long career, Joffrey has doubled Morgan Freeman, James Earl Jones, Denzel Washington, Bill Cosby, and Sidney Poitier, to name just but a few. Here is a look at Joffrey Brown in action.
Well, that's all we've got time for for this particular week. We'll see you all again next time. Stay safe. Until then, bye-bye for now. Bye.